What's happening fellow Gig Performer users? Matt Vanacoro here with another great tip on how to use Gig Performer 4. So today I'm gonna talk about how you can use Gig Performer sounds, patches and things you create in Gig Performer and route them into your favorite digital audio workstation directly without having to go outside the box. Now, I've got a nice complex and cool orchestra sound here. And if you like this sound, you wanna learn how to design some more powerful sounds like this, be sure to check out our video on how to design sounds in Gig Performer 4. Now, for this sound, I've got a lot going on. I've got some strings and brass, separated pans, timpani that come in at a certain time. So when I play it, it's really, really big and full and wide. If I wanted to recreate this sound in my DAW, it would actually take quite a bit of time. And I probably got a backed up library of thousands of sounds of you know, lots of different patches I've made in Gig Perform, and I don't wanna recreate them anytime I wanna use them in the recording studio. So there's a couple of different ways you can approach this. One way is obviously to simply route the outputs of your gig performer you know, physically to a different output on your audio device and then reroute it back in old school style with a patch cable. But there's a way to do it without any signal loss and having to worry about readjusting your gain staging or anything like that. And that's by using a virtual sound device. Now you can use black hole. There's a couple of different ones. I like to use Loopback. It is a paid um, you know, version, but you can download a free demo and check it out. And I like Loopback because it's got an easy user interface and there's a lot of different routing options. So what I'm going to do is this. First, I'm going to set up my virtual sound card. I'm going to have Loopback show up like a fake second sound interface on my computer. I'm going to route the output of Gig Performer into Loopback, and then I'll set the input of my digital audio workstation, in this case, it's gonna be Logic, to Loopback. So as far as Logic's concerned, this audio is coming in on a sound card, even though it really isn't. It's just being routed virtually without any loss through this audio app. So if I open up the Loopback screen right here, you'll see I've got a sound card ready, Loopback Logic. I'll turn it on, and now it's showing up in my system as a sound card right now. So I'll pick a source. So I'll go to my sources and pick the app. I pick Gig Performer 4, there it is. And when I play my patch now, all right, I can see that it's making sound and it's going to the output channels. If I wanna hear it on my speakers, uh, cause I don't hear it right now, you can, but I don't. So I'm gonna to wanna to route it to some monitors. So I'm gonna go ahead and route it to my Mac Pro speakers. But one of the cool things is you'll see, I can route it anywhere. I can route it to my big studio monitors. I can route it to anything I've got plugged in. So I'll go ahead and route it to my speakers. Let me see if I can hear it. There we go, nice and big and glorious. And it's really that simple. So now any audio app that I set the sound card to be loopback logic is going to receive that audio out of Gig Performer. So let me open up logic and check that out. Let's see if that's the case. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is go to my preferences window and I wanna set the input device, there it is, look at that, loopback logic. So instead of being set to my normal universal audio Thunderbolt, my audio interface, it's set to this virtual interface. And right now, since it is receiving, let's see, only inputs one and two are active, and that's pretty accurate because if I look back at loopback, I've only got channels one and two active. As you see, I can make as many channels as I want. So let me hit the record enable. And let's see. Look at that, it's showing up nice and full, saturated, sounds powerful. So I can go ahead and hit the record button and I'll play a little. There it goes fully recorded and no hiss from patch cables routing around the back, no you know signal loss. If I play it back, I'm gonna hear it just as pure as when I played it. Sounds great, and I can reconfigure that 
as I want. So by using Gig Performer and Loopback, I can intercept that audio signal and send it to a variety of places. And the great thing is that Loopback allows you to have multiple sound cards going at once. So I can send the Gig Performer signal to any DAW, but also to any set of speakers in my studio and hear what's going on. And all the time that I've spent developing these great patches in Gig Performer is not lost because I now have the same sounds I'm using live as I'm using in the studio. So I know a lot of folks that will actually hook their laptop up in the studio and plug it into their DAW through you know a different computer even. And you don't have to do that anymore. You can just reroute this audio. And again, there are free ways to do it like Black Hole and they're great. But if you're gonna do it a lot like I do, um, I found it definitely worth picking up loop back so that I was able to just route it back in with a nice user interface and do it quickly and send that audio anywhere I want. So hopefully you like this stuff. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out all the new stuff coming out of Gig Performer.